What's up, everybody? Pumpkin here. So, Anna came out um, with Crimson Curse. Anna allows you to create and play a card from your opponent's hand. Uh, when I originally thought about this, or when this was released, I was kind of hesitant about the laser because, well, in theory, when your opponent sees Anna, all they do is they play their really good cards, and you're stuck with some bronzes or whatever. Um, but what I found out today while streaming uh, an Anna deck today is... Typically, people's hands are almost fully golden. Um, eight of the ten cards in round three and along round three are almost all golden. So this card or this leader gets a lot of value. And what you can do with Anna is you can play her two times. Uh, you can play Damien. Uh, Damien allows you to refresh your leader's ability. If it's disabled, you get to enable it instead. So the idea is you play Anna and then you play Damien, uh, and then you reproc it, and you can use Anna again. Uh, and the way you get around that, uh, the order is a Petrius filter. Um, we also run one Aquavis, just in case, whatever, you don't draw Damien. Um, but it's really good. It, it's not even just the power of Anna, right? So the, the, the strength in Anna is not just the, the card that you get, right? The, the Regis you pull off your opponent for eight value, right? That, that seems kind of, eh, it's okay, right? Is, is it wor really worth building, like, uh, two extra cards into your deck to do it again? Uh, and the answer is yes, it is. Because the information that you get from it is so, so crucial. Uh, there's one game where I was playing against Squayatel, and I, I don't really want to spoil it, but basically I got information from my first Anna, which allowed me to play around a very important card in their hand uh, and ended up winning me the game. Uh, another match against, like, uh, Monsters... I saw that he had a Geralt in his hand. Uh, and because of this, and because I, I could see the other two cards in his hand, and I knew that he couldn't actually kill my Damien on the board, um, I actually opted to play Damien on the board and did not play Petri's Filter on it because I had the information that he was he, he could not kill it. And then I purposely did not play uh, Petri's Filter on it because I didn't want to go into Geralt range. Um, so the information is really, really important. Uh, another example would be, let's say your opponent plays Gorgon, right? Um, let's say you don't have a one point unit on the board when you play the first Anna. When you play the second Anna, before you use it, you can use something like Letho or, I don't know, Regis and ping one of their five strength units down to four and then you can use, or down to one, uh, and then you can use Anna into Gorgon and, I mean, you've already set up. So, really, really fun deck. Um, originally when I built the deck, I built it for Shieldard. I was playing Shieldard and, uh, Gaedith Sword. The idea was you play Shieldard, it brings their highest unit down to one. Best case scenario, Spear Tip, they play Spear Tip, you play Gate of the Sword, you kill it, and you get a Spear Tip. Yay! It sucks. It doesn't work. So I took out the sword, and all of a sudden the deck was <laughs> pretty good. Um, it's a really fun deck. It's essentially just like a mid-range, uh, like a Morven deck from last patch, except you play Anna and Damien as your finisher, and it's a lot of points. And the information where that allows you to play around certain cards is really, really nice. So uh, yeah, I'll go through the uh, list really quickly. Uh, Damien, obviously, you need this to refresh your ability. Roach. Roach is debatable. Um, if there's two cards in this deck that are debatable, it's the Asire and the Roach. Um, but I do like the round one tempo. This deck does fine if bled because you do have that Ana. I had another game against monsters. I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to spoil it. Yeah. I'll, I'll show it in the uh, <laughs> video. Um, information is so important. Uh, I like the Roach because it's extra tempo in round one and getting out of round one. I like to pass on seven with this deck. Uh, I play like three engines and get out or play like uh, Empower Brigade. I use TA on something and then I play like a uh, Infiltrator or something and get out of the round. So um, the, the, the Roach definitely helps and it's still a uh, nice proactive play in round three with the Sire. And this deck does kind of lack proactive play, so the Sire is nice. Aquavis, great, great card in round three. Uh, gets a lot of value. It's another target for Petri's Filter. Sometimes I know that... Um, I don't need to play, I can avoid um, Petri's filtering the uh, Damien because I know that they don't have any removal on their hand based on Anna. So I'll play Damien by himself and then I'll save the Petri filters for Aquavis uh, at the end of the game. Uh, there, there are scenarios where you just play the filter for uh, Aquavis. So Aquavis is just another card. Sometimes you don't draw Petri's filter, in which case I slam Aquavis um, before Damien typically. Uh, and they'll use any kind of damage or removal on it, and then I follow it up with Damien. Uh, granted, if you think that your opponent's hand is garbage, or you originally already saw your opponent's hand, and it is pretty bad, you can play Damien first, get your opponent to remove Damien, and then play Aquavis. So they, they kind of work off each other if you don't draw 
Petri's full turn, so good card. Very strong card. Serret, uh, I mean, it has the Serret Ox Letho combo because, well, it's good. Shylord, uh, it's a good card. I like it. Uh, very strong in round three. Very strong against monsters. Um, I typically save this card for round three. Against Squirtle, it hits her dragon. Um, I love this card. Also, it works really well with uh, Gregory, um, which you have to damage a one strength unit. So if your opponent highest unit goes to one, well, you got a target for this card, which is really nice. So I I've been liking Shillard. Uh, Regis Bloodlust, auto include in every deck. It's removal. It can banish cards. Really, really strong. Uh, I had a game where I was playing against SK and they played a, uh, a Yada and I needed to kill it and I couldn't kill it. So I played Anna, uh, got a Regis from their hand and then played my Regis. Basically, I needed two damage from my opponent's hand and I was able to uh, utilize my Bloodlust in my hand uh, and banish the card denying uh, Sig in round three. Gorgon, crazy card. Auto include in every deck if you can fit it. Uh, and this deck has a couple different ways to uh, get the one drop. Uh, I'll go into... More of that a little later. Letho, great card with Ox Serret. Uh, Sire, good with Roach, obviously. Ox is good in the combo. Uh, Roderick, this is a consistency card. You really want to be finding Damien and Ox every game, and this card is just really good. It's just a good card. Uh, Petri's Filter, you need this for Damien. Very straightforward. Peter, just a solid gold card. Uh, typically finds good value. Against some decks where I don't think it's going to find good value, I'll throw it in round one. I'll throw it against my opponent's tactical advantage. I, I use... Peter whenever I want really uh outside of monsters you can use this just on like a three or four point boost card in round one if you really need to it's really not that bad impair brigade nice thinning nice proactive play good card emissary this is another one drop that works well with uh gorgon obviously uh you play this on your opponent's side of the board uh and you have a uh, gregory I keep switching back and forth <laughs> oh you, you get to play the knight on the uh the emissary which is really nice so you, it gives you another target I also like to play it with uh, my engines, Nausicaa and Magni, because people aren't running a lot of tall removal. Um, I'll typically open with Nausicaa or Magni at the beginning of a round, and against monsters, uh, I will then tactical advantage it, and then I will dump an emissary on it, just because if they don't have dominance, uh, they lose a lot of value out of Proto Flutter and uh, Riders, which are auto included in, both in monsters at the moment. So. Uh, I, I like just slamming high units or, or boosting units very high so that they don't get that dominance. So I, I like the card, but just a one of Nuff Guardian Knight, great card, phenomenal card if you lose a coin flip or in round three if you're going first or two, I guess. Just good card. Uh, Infiltrators, obviously a good card. Messes up your opponent's mulligans. Great card. Uh, Nausicaa Sergeant, great engine, just a good card. You always play it. It's a good card. Cutthroat. So this is the one card that people ask me all the time, why am I playing this card? Um, one of the main reasons is uh, Gregory, right? You can use Cutthroat on a three drop. Uh, it goes down to one, and then you can play Gregory on it. It's a five for four worst case scenario, and that's not that bad. A five for four is okay. Most of the time, you just mulligan this card away, and honestly, it's not a big deal. You could play Slave Driver instead, but there's no locks in this deck because you don't need locks in the meta right now. Uh, so you could play Slave Driver if you want, but Cutthroat will probably get more value most of the time. So this is a flex slot, I guess, but I, I really like Cutthroat for uh, Gregory. And last but not least, one Magni Division. Throw this on the back row. Really nice proactive play in round three, or in round one. Uh, I'll tactical advantage it usually uh, to play around uh, small removal. It's just a nice four drop. Yeah. So uh, basic idea of the deck. Try to, I mean, you don't have to win round one. Sometimes I go for uh, winning round one. If I lose coin flip and goes first with tactical advantage i typically play an engine either nausicaa or magni uh followed up by like oh actually if i have a nilf guardian knight obviously i put a nilf guardian knight then i play like a magni or a nausicaa sergeant i ta it uh, and then i slam like infiltrator or brigade um and then maybe play the other one and then get out of the round uh very 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 quick rounds because typically your opponent doesn't want to bleed you because you have anna most of the people who do end up bleeding me, I usually win the round of card up because Anna is just so strong. Having that information just like allows you to play Aquas earlier or whatever safely. It's, it's just so good. Anna is such a fun leader. Not only is she fun, but there's, there's a lot of skill involved behind her. Um, like, yeah, it, it does say random, like it's create, but like it, it's controllable uh, to an extent. So really, really fun. I highly suggest, I mean, I, I had doubts for Nilfgaard. I didn't think they'd be very good. I played this deck and won like five, six games straight. <laughs> it's really fun. Um, maybe if people start running a ton of artifact removal, you add another Petri filter into the deck. I don't know. Um, but as of now, one Petri has been fine. Um, yeah, let's get into some gameplay. Oh, 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 sorry. 
the the how to play the deck. Uh, go three or four cards into round one, pass. Round two, if they bleed, you keep up, obviously. Otherwise, you dry pass, go into a long round three. Um, round three, I typically don't play Anna pretty early. I like to get that information, and information when you do it early is pretty useless. So I typically wait for them to have five or six cards in hand, maybe like five or four, uh, and then I go ahead and play Anna. Get that information, start playing around certain cards, um, and then you take it from there. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Impertinence is the one thing Play poison and elf card? No, it's really bad. Write a comment on Reddit, e GG easy. No, we lost that game. <laughs> I can't type easy GG. Because <laughs> I lost. It was, a it was a really heavy crack control list. And everything got removed. He said you won? Oh, then I must have been thinking of someone else. I thought it was the crack control this night. I could be mistaken. But I did lose several games to crack control. So I feel like a celebrity, celebrity status, if you will, is only achievable when you can go, I don't know. What is this? I don't have ox. Oh, okay. If we don't have to draw it until end game. Uh, it's basically I don't know. When she can go outside and people recognize you, which will never happen because my entire viewer, <laughs> viewer base, <laughs> none of them are in the U.S. Oh shit. Wait, that's actually not bad. I always find a way in. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is not gonna go well. We're losing this on even 100% of the time. No questions asked, but like. Just come to EU. I might move. We'll see. We also don't go outside. Oh. So the only way you could become a celebrity. Okay, would you consider Ninja a celebrity? I mean, like, if he goes outside, people scream and, like, run up to him and ask for pictures. No? Well, if he's not a celebrity, then no Twitch streamer will ever be a celebrity ever. Because no one will ever reach the fame that Ninja did. Right? You're never going to get a streamer who, like, appears on national television. Like, multiple times. It's never going to happen. Right? So, if he's not a celebrity, then no one's a celebrity. I would say 100% he's a celebrity. If you have people running up to you in the streets asking for your photo, I I think I would consider that a celebrity. Oh, we drew Ox. That's really important. I'm a celebrity. My dog recognizes me from miles away. Shroud is a big streamer, not a celebrity. Yeah, so like, Shroud is super well known amongst uh, high-level competitive I don't know, players slash people who watch the competitive scenes, right? Um, but if Sherrod was walking on the street, yeah, I'm sure people would recognize him. Kind of. Like, if they watch Twitch, or they're into, like, CS. Um, but, like, some random mom isn't gonna know who Shroud is. Whereas... There's been enough talk about Ninja where, like, a random mother on the street would be like, Oh, that's Ninja. Right. Are you considered yourself as a celebrity? No. If I ran into you, I'd ask for a picture with you. Yeah, but neither of us leave the house, so... Oh yeah, sure, I'll take a photo with anybody. Oh, 
Oh, it's a drog list, right? So this is gonna piss him off. Because the only reason to play this many humans is to play, uh... Oh no. Uh -huh, I should have blocked. I don't know. Nah, I still wouldn't do that. I'll just take it. I don't care. What's this deck list? Mine or his? This is just like a like a mid range with uh, Damien finisher. Pretty good. Cause he has a one on the board. <laughs> I wanna play another card. Alright, whatever. Because I blew Anna, I guess I don't mind ripping Damien again. Right? Death to the enemy. Right. Is it lock and graveyard? Ah, shit. Oh, uh, we can just banish, I guess. I don't think it locks in graveyard. He's trying to 2 me? I know. Why'd you lock Tridem? Well, he does run drug. We saw it, right? Could you show deck after game? Sure. Locks are bug, where if they lock, they stay, they stay locked in the graveyard. I thought they, they changed it, so it's not bugged anymore. Bugged again? Ow. Oh. Oh, I don't, I, I, I don't think this is correct. I think he should have passed. Because the Petri filter is like a dead give, giveaway. Right. No I mean, I guess with Kingfisher, you need to play it to put a card on top. Because it is a combo-oriented list, but... I don't know. Please show the rest of the deck. I'll show it after this game. It's basically just mid-range Anna with uh, Petri, Damien finisher. Anna is really good. I've been very surprised. This deck is doing very well. Uh, I guess my Legion was correct. Is this deck potentially good? Uh, I mean, we're winning every game, so... Uh, doing well. The Anna's create, it doesn't matter. Yeah, the most valuable thing is information, because it means I can play something like Octus and not worry about it getting removed. The information is huge. So I know he has Drog in hand, I know he has Royal Decree in hand, and I know he has... Uh, something else. I should have remembered. That's a Peter? Eh, it could be useful, I guess. Imagine Anna in open? I can definitely imagine Anna in open. Reason for playing Emissary? 
uh, Gregory. There's a couple ways to proc Gregory. Emissary, uh, Shylard, and just raw damage. That's actually, uh, not gonna lie, the reason we run this card is for Gregory. And it's just a 5 and it's solid. Oh wait, for some reason I thought I could deny this, but I can't because... <laughs> oh, alright. I strive above all to be just. His deck looks fun. Will you try it? Nah. Probably not. Maybe. Sure. Elves must die. Is the Sire Roach still good? Yeah, it's okay. The extra tempo in round one doesn't hurt. I'm doing this because I know he has Drog in hand, and I'm going to lock all the Revenants with this. Kind of why we're holding on to these. Can you show deck after game? Sure. In French, you pronounce it Gregor? I didn't know that. Whee! Sometimes I've had Whoop. enough. Let's see what you got here. Oh shit! Don't mind if I Battles are won do. or lost by the commanders, not by sorceresses. You guys like combo Nilfgaard? Me too! I could have waited two turns or three turns, but... Actually not bad. The new elf card is fun. Oh wow. Wait, that engine was a super good roll. Holy shit. Hmm. Never commenting on play suggestions? What do you mean? How do you think they'll nerf uh, Gregory? I don't think they will. Ah! <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the card is nuts. It's an 11 for 9, but it is conditional. It is risk reward. Maybe they'll make it boost by 5 instead of 6. Remove the shield? Sure, I mean, the shield isn't like what's making it good. But sure, I guess you can remove the shield. Like, the shield doesn't really matter. Can you import? No, not yet. Not to my knowledge. Why not run Informant over Emissary? Because a lot of times your opponent plays shitty bronzes. You could play Informant if you want. I don't know. I like Emmy. I like playing Emmy on, like, Nausicaa. It's good against monsters, too, because they want talk card. I like Emmy. It, it's good against monsters. That's probably one of the bigger things. Do you think they'll nerf Squiatel? I mean... Is Squiatel tier 1 right now? No. Nope. I don't think so. I mean, Squiatel isn't even seeing that much play. People are just playing like monsters. I don't I don't think Squiatel is broken. Not yet. I don't know. I mean, the reality is someone has it just takes somebody, I don't know, coming up with some crazy Dana combo. 
Because being able to play two cards in one turn can just be catastrophic. Um, no door is closed to me. I, I think something with like Pitfall Trap could be decent, but I don't know. It, it's too hard to know. Yeah, alright, bye, I guess. I don't know. I don't need to push this around. Tremors into Elias. Okay, you could play Elias, and then you could decoy Elias, and then rip Elias with Dana and play him again. so bad, <laughs> but you could do it, I guess. Really? <laughs> Shit, dude. <laughs> Done. Um... Am I just playing Roderick? I don't know. I want to get the roach out so I can aggressively look for these witchers. Kill the dog diddlers. I need to keep this. That's really unfortunate. I wanted roach. Did we just low roll there? I wanted Roach. I would have taken this. I would have taken this. Literally anything but the. Eh, whatever. Sucks. Whatever. Not a big deal. Question mark? I, I need. No, because I need to thin the Roach out so I can aggressively look for uh, gold cards. I have no locks. If he plays Detlaf, I lose the game. Oh, it's a different trap. Ah. I'll play that laugh. Hmm. Alter GG. Thank you so much for the two months. Appreciate it. Order Thank you. It must triumph. Why not the 4P card? Because I want to chat. <laughs> Whatever, chat. I give up. I want to aggressively look for cards, and I need to thin the roach out of my deck because the roach doesn't matter because I have a sire. Why? I don't agree with that. I don't care about that laugh because if he goes tall, I can peter it. I see. I just carried the five point crown. Damage, damage, damage! Alright. Was I supposed to play around Gimpy? I don't know, maybe. A shame I have no time. Backlist? We played Gimpy. You, sir, are correct. Mm 
I'll defend the Duquesa to my dying breath. Well, that's pretty useful information. <laughs> All right, play around Arden. I would say that's pretty useful information. I can't play around Arden. I can't play around it because it's melee locked. That information would have been useful before. It's too late now. What is he doing? Isn't this his only- wait, what were his three cards? Erden? Bloodlust? And Strike it. No, he can still kill it. No, he doesn't have high unit, which means he can't kill this. He just Pipiga. This Octus is going off. Can't kill it. Because he doesn't have high unit. Care for them. Chee -chee. Dude, we are slaughtering people with this deck. Hey, you got high unit. Is it tier one deck? I mean, we won like six games in a row. I mean, no, I don't know. Is it tier one? We're beating like Berna. We're beating. Speak your mind. I mean, we lost to Athne. So, I don't know. The point is, Nilfgaard isn't complete shit, is basically what this means. Which is nice. Supporting Nilfgaard more than actual ambassador. Check your win rate. We've lost like one game. No, that's not true. We've lost maybe two or three games. How do I check win rate? Don't play Gwen. View your profile. How do you play these? If not by skill. I don't know where to look. Oh, match history. Oh shit. As I said, we lost to Squayatal. Pretty green. Last three games. Not bad. It's okay. Oh, yikes. Oh, this is the, uh, lol. Is there any way to see coin? There's no way to see coin, is there? That was the, uh, top blood list. I can win long rounds. I have Aquist. We're the best regiment in the whole plowing Can I vote for you to be the ambassador of whole Gwen? No. That's... no. Why? You need other people to play the game too. The other people to support the game. <laughs> uh... 
I'm almost gonna cut Letho from this deck. It seems like I never draw these. It's really awkward. I mean, in theory, they're great cards, but like... Eh, yeah, whatever. Are you ambassador of something? Yeah, I'm the Scoia'tael ambassador. But whenever I play Scoia'tael, chat just tells me to go play a different faction. <laughs> I don't know. I just play everything. The, the best thing to do is just to play everything. Uh, it's the best way to get good at Gwent too, because playing everything allows you to understand how decks play. It's not bad. I re oh, we still haven't found Roach. This deck never plays Roach in round one. It might be incorrect to run a Sire. Nice. Ida is waiting for your potion. This isn't this isn't my list. I don't play this card. This card's really bad. So he might not run Ida. I don't know. I just slam it anyways. I don't know. There's nothing else to play. It's either that or play a sire. Or nothing. Which I guess is okay. Oh, I could put a gold back. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, if not. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. He has Ida, he has Ida. There's nothing else to play. I don't know, maybe he kills Shylight. If he kills Shylight, I can throw it back and pull it out again. Should wait for him to kill Verge? But he never will, because if he's playing a Skirmish, he'll hit the Shylight. I mean, this will get Ida snapped immediately. Ida. Okay. I can aux that, guaranteed. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. No ox in hand means I can't play this. Is this list on YouTube too? Uh, I can take a look in a second. What is it you want? Who to die? Pretty important lock. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Oh, no. Well, I mean, no, it's not. I can give you the song name, though. Oh shit, it's super heavy engine. Hmm. See, if, any, if he has any boost... I mean, what boost cards would you play? No one plays Uni. Mm. Ada? No, if he had Ada, he would have removed the Petri five years ago. Make sure to use the Burza ping. Boy. I'm gonna play this first. Well, we don't play this first. If he has Knight, I'll play his Knight. Oh shit, there's a Scorch. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> there's a Scorch. Okay, hold on. One second, we have to think here. That's a Scorchy card. Um. Mm. I'm still playing this.
Like, there's no way to hold Scorch for the end of the game. You would never do that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I want to bait the Scorch out, I think. Because my Damien's going to 8, which is problematic. And the reality is, if he keeps playing units, like... Oh! Pog! Nice. Ethlyn? Hmm. We'll set up the second night. This isn't a bait. I don't know. This Milva's getting pretty thick. He might want to rip Scorch sooner or later. Otherwise, <laughs> it ain't going off. Yeah, I mean, once Milva gets to 10, we just win. All right, I mean, I can Damien. Vigilance is Should we get another Damien? Uh, he's got two non-units, which means Milva's never gonna go off. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. So because I know he has Regis, it means I can play Aquas next turn. Um, I'll explain in a second. Um, because what he has to do is he has to play Regis here. He has- okay, no, no, no. He has to Scorch here or he has to play Regis. Um, he can't play the Knight, obviously. So he's always gonna play the Regis, right? Which means he can't kill Aquist anymore. The only way he can kill Aquist is he plays four Ethne Pings plus Gorgon and then he bricks on Scorch, right? He could Gorgon first without death blow. Oh shit, he could if he's smart. Is he gonna do that? Oh. Yeah, Shamiri's right. That's the correct line of play. It's the Gorgon first. That's actually really smart, Shamiri. It doesn't win him the game though, because I would just play my Gorgon for non death blow and we win the game. Um, because we were up like 20 points. It wouldn't matter. It would have been a 10 point Scorch. But yeah, I, was, I wasn't gonna kill his card with Gorgon, because playing into Scorch is obviously terrible. Dude, this deck is so fun!